Hi, welcome to The Real Ishe. Thank you for joining me today. So today, um, I'm going to be talking about a couple of free bags that I'm going to be giving away. I'm trying to give away something. I'm going to try to do it every Thursday until the end of December, okay? So just to give back to my subscribers, and you know, you have been supporting me, and I'm at 2,500 subscribers right now, and I'm very grateful for that. So this book bag here... This book back here is brand new. As you can see, I just took it out the bag. It still has its tags on it. So what I'm going to ask you guys to do is let me know down below which bag you want, either the pink one or the clear one. And what I was thinking about doing for you guys is um, in the comment box, let me know what silhouette you want here. And what I mean by that, like, you see how the emoji faces is a solid silhouette. And then you have... The Mickey Mouse here, Minnie Mouse here, that's a solid silhouette. And by the way, I'm giving away these cups too. That's another DIY I'm going to do. But so these are silhouettes. So right down in the box, let me know what silhouette you want here. And what I'm going to do is do a DIY video on that. And I'm, whatever you choose, whoever the person who selected, I'm going to be doing a DIY on the item that you choose. I'm going to be blinging it out and I'm going to be putting glitter on it, okay? So let me know, you want the pink bag, you want the clear bag, what silhouette you want on it, and you know, give me a beautiful thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll be giving these away. Another thing I want to cover again, um, I covered in the last video, that I have a pair of glitter, blinged out, um, well, glitter, sparkly, Timberland boots that's been sitting around for a while. Um, they were shipped back to me. They um, wasn't sent to the, the person who was supposed to be sent to. The person moved or something to that extent. So I wasn't able to get the item back to the person, not knowing what the address was. So what I'm going to be doing is giving this away in November for Christmas so somebody can have a free Christmas gift. Okay, you guys? Okay, so this item pretty much is a size 7, and I'll put the description below. So whomever wants this, just stay tuned. Um, you can email me. Stay tuned to see how I... Um, actually seal this put more glitter on it and things of that sort and then write down in the comment box you know that you want these Timberlands why do you deserve these Timberlands for Christmas okay and you know write down in the, in the comment box of this video this video here and let me know why you deserve these Timberland boots and just say you know I'm interested in the Timberland boots and this is why I think I deserve them okay so let's get started on this DIY okay so this is the blank tote here you have this is what I'm gonna put on the outside of only one one um, side of the bag I won't be doing two sides just one side of the bag let's get into the DIY so first things first is that you have to cut out the silhouette getting as close to the edge as you can And you guys, I was thinking about, um, since there are quite a few people who are trying to get married this year, even though with the COVID, that um, to give back to you guys, to have, you know, a few people who are getting married, who plan on getting married, to send in um, your shoes or, you know, maybe some shoes that you no longer want and you want to get them customized. Now, I won't be doing um, fully covered, blinged out shoes or anything like that. Um, I, I would cover the shoe in glitter completely if that's something that you wanted but I would like more of a simplistic design like maybe your new last name or something on the shoe whether you send in some converse or whether you send in like a heel or something like that I can do like your name your date of your wedding so let me know what you guys think about that leave it down in the comment box if that's something that you would like to see happen here on this channel where I'm kind of like giving back to you guys and um um, allowing you to ship in your shoe at your own risk and um, I place the design on there for you for free all you have to do is um, pay for shipping so you will have to pay for shipping for that you'll have to pay for shipping to ship to me and then you'll have to pay for shipping for me to ship back to you but you get to have a custom shoe and you get it for free and you get to see that how it's made pretty much so this is the cutout version of the popsicle and I'm going to place it on the bag. Mm -hmm. 
And I have an alarm, so the alarm is gonna go off. Yep, just guess so. Okay, so you see I put the lollipop on here, but what I did not know was how hot or what type of fabric this was. I knew that the, the heat press got pretty hot, but I did not know how hot it got where it will burn this material here. So we're going to improvise here. And what I'm going to do, because I have a lot of things on handy, is to cover that up. I'm going to put ribbon on it so I was thinking that the perfect ribbon to go with this would either be this one here or the chain one but see with the chain one what I'm a little afraid of is that it's too heavy to be glued on and that I may have to sew this one on even though this one is a little bit this looks a little bit more elegant um as opposed to this one this still looks cute but the chain one looks a, a lot better i'll just put it like that this both of them go really well with this i'm trying to think see now this one is really like hmm okay you guys i think i know what i'm going to do Okay, so I have the handles done. So what I want to do is I actually my um, glue gun I ran out of the glue so I have to improvise. I sprayed a little of Gorilla Glue along here. Gorilla Glue is pretty tacky but I know I'm going to have to put some E6000 on it and I'm going to put it all along the parameter of the bag, the top of it here.
Okay, so I'm going to go around here, leaving enough on the edge here. Try to make it as flat as possible, covering up the black spot. Oh, this gold is so pretty. OMG. The gold and black looks so pretty. Oh, it's sticking pretty good. Oh, it's sticking pretty good. Still right here, I'm going to have to go in with my hand and sew this because the reason why I didn't sew this with a sewing machine because these are these are chains and the chains will break the needle and I can't do that so um, what I'm going to do is allow this to dry a little bit before I flip it over and then I'm going to come back and show you how to do the rest okay so as you guys seen I sewed part of this on the majority of it is glued but I did go through it through all the way to the end to sew it on um, I have glued the ribbon on both sides so this is the back side um, I have sewn the edge of it by hand and then I have to sew I sewed this portion here mainly because the chain is coming down here which can make the ribbon push out so to make it more secure I sewed it there and so I'm going to sew it on this side here and then I'm going to see if I should add any additional elements to it I don't want to overdo it um, it looks like it's already enough elements added so So this is the finished bag you guys this is the finished bag here I'll turn it around I'll try to do a close-up so this is the bag that I will be giving away I think it's a nice little handy bag you know um, I changed the I changed the straps of it because the straps had gotten burnt as I showed in the video but overall I think it's a little cute little bag you know um, it has some flair to it it definitely has style with the gold and the black and with the lollipop designer inspired bag so if you want this bag leave your comments below subscribe give me a beautiful thumbs up and have a peaceful day bye bye